Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golan. We're back in Foundry VTT version 12. We're only operating in version 12 at the moment because um, that's what I've updated to <laughs> for, for good or for ill. Um, we're going to look at an add-on in this video. Now, for some of you who've been following for a while, a few weeks ago, only a few weeks ago, but it seems like a long time ago, we looked at an add-on in version 12 about face, which was all about making sure our um, tokens can rotate, show us which direction they're facing and all of those things. In this video, we're going to be looking at a, a, a module that does basically the same thing, but it's just a different module. We're using auto rotate for this one. Now, bear in mind, I am in version 12. You can see I've got an orange thing here that says its last verified version was version 10. It doesn't mean it doesn't work. It's just mean that they haven't updated it to say, yes, it definitely works in version 12. So we're going to be looking at auto rotate. OK, so I've got uh, a number of characters on here. I've also got Bob, who you can't see really see which direction he's facing because he hasn't got an image. But I've got some monsters and things that we can move around. And not surprisingly, they are just facing the one direction. That is normal behavior. If I go into our configure settings here, we can go to auto rotate <sighs> one option that's it default rotation mode regular or automatic if i change that to automatic and now i move my ghast around he automatically oddly enough will rotate to change and face the direction he's going it works with all tokens no matter their size but of course it's what <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's working with this token that isn't actually a top-down token. Uh, same with this one here. Um, <laughs> we, we end up with the butcher just turning around. So we've got the options to basically say rotate or don't. But you can absolutely change that on an individual token level. So let me get the butcher whoops, the correct way round. If I double right click, I can bring these up. Of course, I can lock rotation. Um, which means he won't rotate. There we go. No rotating. All the other creatures that are top-down tokens that we want to rotate uh, do so. Um, so we can absolutely lock it there as well. And I believe there was down here, enable auto-rotate. You can turn it on off here as well. So I can turn that off without actually locking the, uh, the template. So... Um, Again, we've not got this one done here. Um, this Bob, I think, was it Bob? I called this random person. Rather than locking his rotation here, we can go down here and say auto rotate is off. And therefore him, he's not rotating. So I haven't locked his rotation. I've just said don't auto rotate him. Um, if I hold down shift, I can still get him to change direction if I want to. Um, why? Well, because I can. So two different ways of doing it. You can lock rotation or you can just say for this token not. So for me, where my player characters tend to have tokens like the butcher here, I don't want them rotating. Um, but for my monsters, I do. So that's really easy to be able to do that. Now, what you might say is, how do I get them to rotate on the spot? Just like with the tokens, if I hold down shift, I can press those arrow keys um, and I can get him to do that. Obviously, if I try to drag, it will move him. But arrow keys and shift, they can rotate on the spot without moving. Uh, if I select all of these, only the two that are allowed to rotate will. The butcher won't rotate. So really nice, simple little module um, that if you're using top-down tokens especially, really, really nice. I am more than likely going to keep this one over the alternative. Really, really simple. Um, and I'm not going to rotate my PCs. I'm only going to rotate my monsters and things. But anyway, quick little one. Hope that's useful. See ya.